Hey guys, on today's video, as part of our continuing detailing supplies, procedures, etc. tests, as you see from the title, I'm going to be doing a wash mitt shootout. We're going to be using the Adams. This is a, uh, I think, 10 inch wash pad. I have used these before. In fact, I've used these for years. You see them on my video almost every single time I wash. This is a synthetic, synthetic lamb's wool, imitation lamb's wool. Then we'll also be using the Chemical Guys Bear Claw. This is also a synthetic lamb's wool. This has a little bit longer nap to it than the Adams. Then, which I've never ever used before, I'm gonna be using a real lamb's wool mitt. This is actually Australian Merino um, lamb's wool. It's real, it's not fake. And then we're gonna be checking and using the Rag Company's Cyclone. Now this is a microfiber wash mitt. Now I gotta tell you that I love this style of wash mitt, the synthetic for several reasons. Number one, they last a long time. Number two, they hold an enormous amount of soap water solution. Um, that's, and, and they won't scratch your paint. That's the three things that I like about that. The other three I've never used before. We're gonna find out which one's the best. Maybe they're all equal, I don't know. And then you can go back and um, go to Amazon if you want and try them. The soap that I'm gonna be using, I didn't have any particular reason for picking this. I have so many car soaps from all the tests. I'm gonna be using the Mother's Carnuba Wash and Wax. No reason I chose it. I just reached down and that's the one I picked up and I need to use it. Anyway, uh, so the way I'm gonna do this test is I'm going to pre-foam the car, pre-wash it with uh, the MTM submachine gun style foamer, the PF22. I'm gonna run that fast speed and speed it up so the video is not very long. If you don't have a pressure washer, that's fine. Just hose it down as best you can with your garden hose. And I'll, you know, I'm not even gonna measure how much of the car soap I'm gonna use because it really doesn't matter. I have so much soap. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna weigh, we're gonna weigh each of these wash mitts, see how much they weigh uh, without the packaging and without any water in them. And then we'll just do the test and I'll give you my impressions and try to figure out maybe if I found a better mitt or if they're all good. I don't know, but we'll find it out together. It's about 78 degrees. I hope it won't rain. It's been raining for the last four days. So let's go get this done. So the Honda is very dirty. It hadn't been washed in like two weeks. And no, I'm not going to use any of these mitts to wash the wheels. I'm just kind of giving you an overview of how dirty it is. All right, so let's go ahead and get our pre-wash on the car and let that be soaking. All right, I've got my food preparation scale here with a plastic container. I've got it zeroed out. So first up is going to be the Adams pad and we'll see how much that weighs. Let's zero this out again. All right, it weighs 4.2 ounces. That's for the atoms, 4.2 ounces. Next up, the Chemical Guys Bear Claw. Weighs 4.9 ounces. The real Australian Merino lamb's wool. Four 
5.3 ounces. And next up, wow, this is substantial. The Rag Company Cyclone weighs in at 6.6 ounces. Now, obviously, all these are dry weight. So, what I'm going to do next is we'll get the camera set back up after we let this pre wash dwell for six minutes and rinse it off. Okay, so first up, I'm going to be using, clearly that's my favorite so far is the Adams uh, wash pad. I know how this performs. So this holds an enormous amount of, of water. I wish there was a way I could kind of scientifically measure this. I guess I could let it, I don't know. But anyway, what you notice is because it holds so much water, that's what we're washing the car with. We're not really washing the car with that. That's just soap suds. So, you know, you got to think about what you're doing and what's actually occurring. So I'm going to do like I normally do. I'm going to wash half of the area that I normally wash as I do on all my videos. And then I'm going to flip the wash pad over. And even though I've already washed that amount of area, the amount of soap solution that is still in this pad is, is, it's really unbelievable. And after I get through, I'm going to show you how much is left still in here. And the reason is because this is such a dense, but very fine nap. It holds just an enormous amount of moisture. Okay. So, and I hope you guys can see how much, I mean, this is just absolutely, it's crazy how much this holds. And no, I've heard people comment and say, oh, it'll scratch your paint. This will not scratch your paint. What will scratch your paint is improper washing using the two bucket method. Um, because as you notice, once I did each side, I'm gonna put it in my bucket over here to be thrown in the washing machine. And then um, it'll get all the dirt and grit out. That water is still pristine. I had a clean mitt and a clean bucket. The water's still clean. So next, I'm going to try, which I've never used before, the Chemical Guys Bear Claw. Now this has a much longer nap to it. And it also has, it feels like uh, maybe some type of a foam core in here. But let's... Uh, Wow, this sucker holds a lot of water too. I mean, that is a lot of soap solution. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you my first impressions. It's very, very heavy right now. Uh, I would say it's heavier in the hand than the Adams. Because the nap is really long, it's not quite as dense as the Adams. I can certainly tell that and it does feel like it feels like there's it feels like there's some kind of a core like maybe a foam core or something in here I don't know I could be wrong I don't want to cut it open to see but it is holding a lot of suds I'm gonna flip this over and just work my way down the panel always going from top to bottom 
I, I don't understand why a lot of people are resistant to this method because it's if you think about it I'm using four mitts to wash a car so each mitt is only getting one-fourth of the wear that you would normally get people say well these are expensive well why would you buy extra buckets that say rinse and wash and grit guards and all that so and look at what this has picked up okay I don't want to chance this not coming out in the rinse bucket so I'm gonna let the washing machine do it but this has also an enormous I would say slightly maybe slightly less amount of water coming out than the atoms this really I want you guys to see this this really this atoms mitt foams the soap up maybe a little bit more than this and it's just cause the just cause the nap it's just a different nap this is a very short nap on the atoms this is a very long nap all right now I'm gonna be uh, talking through the be talking through the lamb's wool this is real lamb's wool I've never used real lamb's wool this also feels like it may have a, a foam core in there this is a smaller mitt than the other ones this is also a long it's a long pile so the atoms is a short pile and the chemical guys um, the chemical guys is a is a is a long pile now already i can tell that this is not foaming up quite as much as either of the other two pads this is the most expensive of all three of them for sure but i do feel something that i don't feel this is very slick on the surface it almost feels slimy if that is a good way to describe it now keep in mind obviously i'm using the same i'm using the same soap and this is an actual mitt that you can actually put your hand in which i don't ever do that i feel that's just awkward but it's very slimy feeling on the paint so maybe a good use for this could be some of the car soaps that don't have quite as much lubrication um, that may be a good use for it this is definitely not my favorite mitt for sure um, it did pick up a nice amount of debris all three of these are going to pick up a nice about amount of debris it's very sticky if that's a word for a mitt and it's very it's very fibrous um, and this is obviously the longest nap I think of even more than the bear claw it is a little bit longer so this is definitely the longer nap of all of them this is the smallest because this is an actual mitt these are wash pads um, it doesn't hold as much doesn't hold as much soap solution I'm not like a pad that really holds a lot of soap solution but it did a nice job it felt nice uh, in the hand it felt very nice better than the other two on the paint um, so let's go ahead and try the chemical guys or I'm sorry the uh, cyclone from the rag company now this definitely has a foam core in it this nap is somewhere in between the atoms and the bear claw from chemical guys now also keep in mind this is microfiber this is not also not going to scratch your car okay so don't worry about that and it holds a gosh this thing is heavy all right so I guess having the foam core in there oh yeah makes up for the shorter nap and it's not as dense as the atoms or the bear claw but this definitely holds more water than any of the three for sure that I've tested now one thing that one that, that's one thing I like one thing I don't like is because this foam I don't want to flip it yet is because the foam core 
is so thick in here that it's it almost feels like a sponge in the hand as I'm washing this it's not it's not as flexible uh, but it I like it I do I like it a lot now in the videos that you watch me do you see me use the chemical guys the microfiber or stringy looks I call it the Medusa and I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do an overview of the actual wash mitts that I use but this is just the new ones that I had and you always see me only using those on the front and back end of the car the reason is because they're very good at removing sticky bug parts insect residue um, they don't hold a lot of water and I don't like to use them on the big panels just for that fact now they should have called this not the cyclone they should have called this the camel this thing watch this this thing holds an enormous amount of water it foams the soap up very good provides good lubrication um, it's very it kind of feels a little bit like the sheepskin but just denser and it has that kind of slick slimy feeling to it um, this would be really really good on the flatter panels the hood and the sides and all that and maybe with use this core would uh, loosen up a bit but it is uh, it is kind of a sponge feeling as far as the density and the and the way that it feels <laughs> so which are my favorite ones um, I see different applications on each one of these. I would have to say, still, my favorite is going to be this one. Because this, this guy, even though I wring the water out of it, it still just keeps, it just keeps foaming up. They all, they all three have a slight slimy feel to them. And that could be indicative of the soap. But this guy, I know, will pick the dirt up and hold it in here. That's why I, I don't recommend... The two bucket method because this is so good at pulling the dirt in the pile rinsing it off in the bucket and scraping it on the grip guard, grit guard is not going to get all the dirt out it just can't the only way you can do that is put it in the washing machine so um which do i like best i think i like the atoms the best um i really <laughs> i don't dislike any of them um the bear claw is really nice. I would say, if I have to rank these, I would say this this is a first place. These two, the bear claw and the cyclone, would probably rank second place, but very, very equal, very close to each other, and very close to first place. It's almost like I could say all three of these were first, but I think the Adams has a little bit of an edge, but not far behind. And I would say third place is the real um lambskin sheep or whatever you want to call it and it's it's not very far behind at all it's they're very all three of these are very very good all three of these are better than the green um rope style microfiber that i use but that has an advantage over all three of these or you know all four of these with doing getting bug guts off so you can't lose with any of these i will use all three of these i'm going to intertwine them in the videos i like all of them i like all of them and uh guys i hope this video was helpful i've been wanting to do this for a very long time i have some other wash mitt things that i'm going to do so i'm trying to intertwine these with the hybrid soap series because that series is going to be long i don't it's going to be a long time before we get done with that series but i appreciate everybody's help i'm going to go ahead and rinse this i'm going to run it fast speed if you uh if you enjoy watching that
All right, guys. Well, of course, as soon as I finished drying the car off and getting it all nice and shiny for my last review here, uh, it's raining. So this is what I've been up with. This is what I've been fighting every day, but at least we were able to get the test done. And um, I just wanted to tell you guys, I appreciate everybody's viewership. I'm going to put a link to each of the wash mitts that I featured in the shootout today, if you'd like to give them a try. Anyway, so it's raining again. It's going to be raining the next couple of days. Don't know when I'm going to be able to do another video, but you can rest assured I will. If you haven't subscribed, there's a little bell icon next to the subscription button. Hit that subscribe and then hit that bell and you'll be notified as soon as I get a video up. And guys, I appreciate your viewership and I will talk to you on the next video.